In the journey of love, learning to let go of your fear and holding on to God is a must. You need to let go of your fears and worries in any relationship before you can get the best out of it. You cannot love wholeheartedly or give your best when fear is in you. It does nothing other than be cloud your judgment and make you see reasons why the relationship would not work, why the person may leave you, why you should stop calling the person, why the person is not sincere, and so many other reasons to have fear and suspicion towards the love someone has for you. Living in fear keeps you from attaining and reaching high potentials. It incapacitates you. It makes you a shadow of yourself. It limits what you can receive and what you can give in any relationship. Fear easily controls you, separates you from others, keeps you from making decisions and leaves you anxious, stressed and worried. Allowing fear to take over your life and emotions creates a barrier to accepting and reciprocating love. That a past relationship did not work out does not mean there is something wrong with you. It only means you had things to work on and room to grow as an individual and hopefully you were able to learn and grow like you needed to. That someone said he or she loved you but left does not mean it's your fault. It does not mean you disappointed them in any way. It only means that they had their issues to work on and they needed the space to do it. Love should be given freely, with no expectations in return. Love flourishes in all its glory when it's understood as a two way of offering and accepting. When we offer love, we are allowing ourselves to be vulnerable. We are offering not only love, but all of ourselves. We are offering qualities and flaws, hopes and fears, dreams and despair. There is a message in that fear. God speaks to us in diverse ways and uses diverse things and medium. Fear is not totally bad. There is a message in it and we would explore some of the messages conveyed or carried in that fear of letting go, meaning God still wants you both to remain together. Four signs that fear to let go is God saying you should remain together. Number one, it's a fear of valuing and not to lose. One of the messages being conveyed to you in that fear is that you should value and hold your partner. Your life purpose and destiny have been bonded together with the person and you have no reason whatsoever to allow disagreements to come between you. It's a reverential fear, the fear to keep up and not pull down the relationship. Just like the fear a child has to fail and is tensed to study and work hard to succeed in school to avoid beating or scolding from the parents and senior ones, this is the message the fear is conveying to you. It's a call to value your partner to put in your best to appreciate your partner and strive to maintain and ensure it lasts as long as possible until death. When you have fear for a good thing, it makes you do more and do all to avoid falling victim to the consequences of that fear or what it produced. Number two, you have been holding back so much and need to open up and accept things as they are. Another message or sign that fear is a way of telling you to stay and remain together is that you have been holding yourself so much from enjoying the relationship which is limiting your happiness, giving you room for worry and thoughts. You need to let go of what has happened in the past failed relationship to avoid setbacks. You may indeed have been hurt but it does not make sense to hold back because of the past failures and incidents. You need to clear your heart, give room and space for this present relationship. The fear you have is a call to free your heart of too many unnecessary things that have clouded it and grow with your new partner God has brought your way. 
you are actually killing yourself by holding back and having unnecessary reservations about the person God has brought your way. Free your heart and enjoy the moment. Love is meant to be enjoyed and not to be filled with fear and worries. Number three, you have not been reciprocating love and it is about dying off. Another sign that the fear you're feeling is a sign to not let go but to hold on to and remain together in that relationship is that the person is best for you and have done so well in trying to keep the relationship but probably you have allowed little issues to create distance between you. The distance you have created or are creating is making you realize the worth of the person and you're so feeling hurt and afraid to lose the person. Forgive yourself and return to your partner. The person's is meant for you. Finding someone who loves you and appreciates you despite all is difficult in today's world. Hold on to one God has given you. Do not allow this person to go. Work on that fear and ensure every issue is resolved. You have fed yourselves with so many lies and they are affecting your judgment in seeing the genuine love shown to you by your partner. Every relationship has its own uniqueness. Do not compare yours to another. Do not wish your relationship is like the next person's because you have no idea what they are going through in their relationships. You must make out your way. Forge your own relationship. Make yours what other people would admire and want. Number four, sign of seeing yourself as inferior or unable to love well. Another sign that fear you are nursing should is a message of hope to you is that you have been feeling inferior, unable to love and be loved in return. God has brought someone your way who despite how you see yourself has decided to love you to the last. Take away the fear that person is going to hurt you. God did not make a mistake in bringing that person your way. The person is here because God knows your weakness and inadequacies and has brought someone that would make you better and when you realize this, you would see the spaces that also need to be filled in the person, in the life of that person that has come to love. Nobody is complete alone. The person is here to complete you. Let go of the fear and see how you can also complete the person. Stop seeing yourself as inferior and of less value than you are. We may never know the reason why we become apprehensive or distrusting in our relationship. However, our fear of intimacy is often triggered by positive emotions even more than negative ones. Being chosen by someone we truly care for and experiencing their loving feelings can often arouse deep-seated fears of intimacy and make it difficult to maintain a close relationship. Understand today that the real resistance to intimacy often does not come from what our partner does, but from listening to the wrong people who want to bring up the false facts. The problem is that the positive way a lover sees us often conflicts with the negative way we view ourselves. We tend to hold on to our negative notions about ourselves and are resistant to love. It then becomes difficult for us to allow the reality of being loved to affect our basic image of ourselves. We often build up a resistance to love. Do not let the fear spoil the sweetness of your relationship. Take it as a sign to love more, care more, be passionate, happy and trust your partner more. God has given you the best partner that can love you unconditionally. Do not let that person go. Do not live in isolation. Reciprocate the love without negative thoughts or feelings. It is the best relationship and it would last forever. He who finds someone to love and be loved in return has found a good thing and have obtained favor from all. Indeed, love is hard to find and also difficult to accept and bear. The way it comes may not be how we plan or want it to be. We want to find a loving partner, but many of us have deep-seated fears of intimacy that are making it difficult to be in a close relationship. 
the experience of love threatens our self-defenses and raises our anxiety as we become vulnerable and open ourselves up to another person. This leads to a fear of intimacy. It's not as bad as we think. Open your heart and enjoy your relationship.